find him. You got a good charge in there for the video? Ooh. Yeah, I got a good charge. She lives atop the bell tower of the church with her husband and Tasha the dog. And they thought it would be nice since they had all the room down where the pews used to be. They wouldn't have to take out the garbage for a while. And that's what they did. Well, we thought it would be nice since it's going to be Thanksgiving and all we loaded with some shovels and rakes and other implements of destruction in the VW microbus and, and go pick up her dog garbage and take it out to the city now. Which is what we did. Well we took it out to the city now. There was a big old sign on the dump saying uh, this dump closed on the holiday. Nobody ever heard of the dump closing on Thanksgiving before, so disappointed we loaded our shovels and rakes and other implements of destruction back into the BW biker bus, rode off into the sunset to find another place to put the garbage. We didn't find one. To come to the side of the side road and down to the side of the side road was a 15 foot cliff and down at the bottom of this uh, 15 foot cliff was another pile of garbage. So instead of bringing that one up, we decided to throw ours down. That's what we did, folks. Load the shovels and rakes and other minimalists and love destruction back into the VW microbus. And went back to Allison's restaurant and had a Thanksgiving dinner. That could be be. Well, until we all went to sleep, you know, and woke up the next morning and Officer Obi called me on the phone. He said, kid, we found your name under an envelope on, under half a ton of garbage. We want to know if you know anything about it. I said, Officer Obi, I cannot tell a lie. I put that envelope under that garbage. He said, well, kid, we want to see you down at the police officer station. And I said, well, folks, there's only one or two things that they could have done to us down at the police officer station. Was one, give me a medal for being so brave and honest over the telephone, which was unlikely when we never expected it. And then he'd find us and told us to quit running around the, the, the neighborhood again. Which is what we expected. But when we got down to the police officer station, folks, we were immediately, immediately handcuffed and arrested and taken out to the quote scene of the crime, unquote. They were using all kinds of cop equipment. They were taking they, they were taking plaster tire track dogs, smiling prints. They took photographs of the west of the garbage, the east of the garbage, and the north side of the garbage, and the south side of the garbage, and behind the garbage, and under the garbage, and uh, they were taking all kinds of pictures. They took 27 8 by 10 color glossy pictures with circles and arrows and a paragraph written on the back of each one of these as evidence against us. We got back down to the police officer station and Officer Obi said, Kid, I want your belt and wallet. I said, Officer Obi, I says, I can understand why you don't want my wa wallet since I didn't have any money to spend while I'm in jail. But how come you want my belt? I said, Kid, we don't want any hangings. I said, Officer Obi, you think I was going to hang myself and be the litter bug? 
said he was just making sure, folks. That's exactly what he was doing because he took out the head of the toilet so I wouldn't hit myself over the head and drown. He took out the toilet paper so I wouldn't roll down the roll it out the window and have an escape. We stayed in there oh about one, two, three, four, five, nine hours when Alice Y'all remember Alice? <laughs> she's one of the songs about Alice. She can't have a few choice words to say to Alice or oh being he bailed us out and we went back to her place had a Thanksgiving dinner that couldn't be beat. We woke up the next morning when we had to go to court. Well, I walked into the courtroom there, and there's, uh, there was uh, Officer Obi in there, and he had the 27 8 by 10 color gloss and pictures with a circle and arrow and a paragraph and on the back of each one. He used his evidence against us, and uh, uh, old man came in and said, All rise, we all rose. Officer, all, Officer Obi all rose with his. Seven and ten to go to and pictures and circles and arrows and a paragraph that not back of each one to be used as evidence against us. And the judge came in. Well, the, the judge came in with a senile dog. The judge sat down, a uh, senile dog sat down, we all sat down. And Officer Obi, he sat down with the 27 8 by 10 going glossy pictures of a circle and arrows and a paragraph written on the back of each one to be used as against against us. And then Officer Obi presented his case. And uh, we just sat there and uh, Officer Obi then picked up the 27 8 by 10 colored glossy pictures with circles and arrows on a paragraph written on the back of each one. Looked at the judge. Looked at the senile dog. Then he looked at the 27, 8 by 10 color glossy pictures with simple <laughs> arrows and paragraph right on the back of each one. Then he looked at the judge. Then he looked at the senile dog. Then he looked at the 27, 8 by 10 color glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and the paragraph right on the back of each one. And then Officer Obi began to cry. Because Officer Obi just came to the realization it was another typical case of blind justice. They did judge will go look at that point of that by taking to it all some pictures with circles and arrows and a paragraph written on the back of each one to be used as evidence against us. But that ain't what I come here to talk about. I come to talk to you about the draft. There's a place in Whitehall Street. Where you walk in, you get injected, infected, and it's like injected and selected. And I wanted to be the all-American boy from New York. I wanted to be the all-American boy from New York City. So I got drunk the night before, and I want to walk in there, and I was hung down, brought down, brought up, and kinds of mean, nasty, ugly things. And the sergeant handed us all a piece of paper and said. Kids, we want to know the arresting officer. And uh, I walked up to the sergeant. The sergeant says, Kid, you've ever been arrested? Well, I proceeded to tell about the Alice's Restaurant, Last Time, time Mass Creek Movement, Four Part Harmony, and Full Orchestration. And then he said, Get the whole hold over right there, kid. Did you ever go to court? And I said, uh, yeah, uh, I told him about Officer Obi and the 27 8x10 color glossy pictures in the circles and railroads and written on the back of each 